Yeah, I'm brewing coffee for my friends. We're using a pour over manual siphon with temperature profiling abilities. It's a device that I call the Dragon. And uh, it's been something I've been thinking about and working on for the last couple months for the SCA's Brewer's Cup tomorrow. Okay. So you guys roast coffee, you've been around roasting coffee. Yes. You know that profiling is important. In other words, when, the, when that organic matter meets, meets the temperature during a, you know, a time run, and that curve can really change everything about that coffee, right? right? So I'm just taking the same concept and applying it to brewing, but immersion. So you know that immersion, particulate size, the grind size is important, time length is important, and temp, right? The classic pour, you're gonna have basically start high and goes low, right? What I do is I start high, I give it a time, and then I drop it a certain degrees, and I start bending that temperature curve, and it creates all different flavors, particularly complex coffees like that. You can start digging into different layers. So you like the lemon lime, you can go for that. You want to get sweetness, you drop the temperature a little bit more. And how I achieve it is I use this bowl, right? So it's a pour over manual siphon with temperature profiling. This is a cooling sleeve. And at one, at a certain point, I'll add cold water in it, which is a mass that's gonna suck a lot of the energy away from my slurry. And when I want it to drop, I then just simply create suction with this, whoop, not all, all, all the way, but I create suction here and I drop it. So you can have whatever drop time you like. All right, so let's do it. So. So is this, uh, is this like a special message in the show or is this a method that you're using your cafe as well? Oh, no, uh, this, this is just, I created this to uh, really highlight the coffee that I'm, brewing at the Brewer's Cup tomorrow. Okay. Um, I really like what I call polished immersion. I like yeah. immersion, yeah. but I love to, uh, I wanted to do something that kind of added to what was going on in yeah, coffee, exactly. you know? I mean, I, I look at other brewers that I love and I just thought, you know what? I'm not really adding anything to the dialogue with the Chemex, you yeah. know? Okay. Yeah, exactly. So this one is meant to do that. So this Manantiales coffee, man, it's like a beautiful thing. It, uh, for a long time, I didn't think that uh, geishas could really perform in Colombia, but I was wrong. The key to this plant is to understand it's like a panda bear, right? You love it, it doesn't like you. It wants to, it wants to die. If you top this plant, it dies. If you prune it, it dies. If you stump it, it dies. Not only that, it eats like my wife. Okay. I like a bourbon or katura or tipica, when you put your supplemental you know, nutrients down, like fertilizers, it just binge eats, like it binges, like I do, and it's good. But a geisha doesn't, it just nibbles. It takes on 20 grams and stops eating, just like that. And it needs 300 a year. So the farmer, every three to four weeks, has to go out and just give it a little chicken feed, man. It's like feeding the freaking pigeons, right? But when you do that, the flavors come. And this farm figured that out, man, they figured. In, in Colombia, they say it's a plant with a small mouth, right? Very unlike me, as you well know, has a big mouth. And uh, <laughs> so let's just hope that we got this grind right. And that's tough when you're, you know, you got to negotiate when you're fertilizing, you know, when it, you're negotiating the weather, the rain, seeping, you're doing all this stuff. This plant wants you to work your ass off, right? And as a coffee brewer, I can tell you, it, yeah, it makes you work your ass off. It makes you invent your own brewer. I mean. <laughs> so, see now that grinder does, has the fines, right? So now we can defy gravity a little bit. I'm gonna use a 116 ratio, because you guys look like your hardy dudes. And then at 40, at 40 seconds, I want to drop that temp by four and a half degrees. So I'm going to put in 50 mil of water in, in mass. And it starts pulling the, the energy away from the slurry and to the outside. And then the particulates that are hanging below that crust are going to fall a little bit quicker, a little bit more violently. And then we just wait. So we're going to do a steep time of three minutes, 30 seconds, and we're going to drop it in 45. Now, if you took a French press immersion and even cleared the French press and tried to drop it through a Chemex, yeah. filter just chokes and it won't go through. The challenge is 
brewing immersion and then cleaning it. And you want to clean it like Chemex paper, particularly like coffees like these like geishas or Ethiopian coffees that just want crisp. You know, right. any kind of murky muddiness distracts from the flavor and it's, it's hard to achieve it. So the way I did it was just drive it through this paper, but a drop time that's not too quick, because if you pull too hard, paper I found goes what and those openings go what and then yeah. that murky particulate comes through, right? But you want to get it out so it doesn't dissolve too much either. Still, I can use a little bit more fines, but yeah. I'll just do a little cleaning because that crust is crust is a little bit thick. Getting a little drop. They're, they're doing too good of a job with these grinders. <laughs> You like that burgundy glow, so you don't get that smoke from the yeah. undissolved particulate, you know? So light in color. So, for those of us who don't have a dragon at home, <laughs> what would you say is the second best way to brew this? <laughs> that coffee Chemex, man. Chemex? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you got a little fast, it's a 35 second. I pull mine a little bit wild. And you'd stick to the 116 ratio? Yeah, you know, yeah. I know, I, you know, yeah, I'd do 116. Yeah. TDS, like 127, you yeah. know, 125 kind of area. It's really perfumey. Wow, yeah. Like, I mean, it, like quintessential, oh, like yeah. perfume, you know? Hey. The, the honeysuckle, honey sweetness, you know, in there. And it's like candy, lemon, and lime, you know, it's yeah. not that. Can jazz hands, lemon and lime, you know? You know what I mean? That, what? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, but it's still really early for this coffee, really early. But sometimes you just can't wait, you know? Yeah. How do we do? A little orange zest there, huh? Yeah, I like that. <coughs> it's like candy. That was awesome, dudes. You're good, awesome. Thanks, thank you very much.